Right folks, today I'm going to show you how to replace uh, a power supply on a standard computer case. On this case, take the screw out, take the covers off, make sure you remember where you put all the screws and there it is. As you can see power supply. Please note what kind of power supply it is uh, the, the voltage and what model. So when you come to get a replacement that's what it is. This is a Pentium 4 motherboard this is the power supply unit. You'll notice the screws are offset as I say. These two are closer than these two here and that distance there is shorter than that. This, this distance here is longer than this distance here so you can't get this power supply in the long way around. Possible but uh, easy to do. Unscrew the screws, put away somewhere safe like in a container that you can get at. Right, as you can see, this is one of the uh, power connectors that provides the CPU with power. And these are the power supplies connection to the uh, I, uh, disk drives, uh, CD ROM, and DVDs. All you have to do is just rock it and pull back. There you go. One, two, do not apply excessive force to it. Put them out of one side, those that are free. To get this part of this unit out, you need to press on this clip here. You can see it? Just there. And then pull out. This bit grips the uh, connector at the bottom. Press it and it releases and then yank it out. When you push down, it grips so it doesn't come loose. This one, same again, please note which way around the colours are. In this instance, just remember the red is on the right hand side. And all you do is just give it a yank and it's out. This is a positioning uh, notch to get into the correct hold. And again, there's a, a grip, uh, clip here to hold it in place once, it in, once it's back securely on. This is the main power supply unit. Again, as you can see, there's a clip here. Just push it and then just rock it gently to come out. There you go. As you can see, it can only go in one way. Some are rounded, some are square. So uh, if you really have to force it in, you're going to break the board and uh, you can have a very expensive bill so don't force it in just do it gently slide it out and there you go one power supply removed symptom of power supply failure is you switch on and all you get is an amber light on the uh, power LED and nothing else works Okay, then what you, reinstallation is the opposite of uh, taking out. Slide it back, put, get your replacement power supply in. 
slide it in like so and then put the screws back in Securing the power supply first allows you to put the cables in easier so it's not uh, floating about as I say. Just finger tight, that's all that's required and then just give it a slight turn with the screwdriver. Don't apply pressure otherwise you'll cross thread it. Just use a simple screw that's it. There you go. One power supply changed over. Next thing to do is place the power supply back onto the board. Okay. Start off with the uh, one furthest away from you. Remember the clip you saw was towards you, just slide it in like so and just ease, gently ease it in. There you go. Did you hear the clip? That's it. That's it. On a Pentium uh, 3 power supply, you'll only have this. You won't have these others, like this one for instance and you won't have uh, one of these. So if you get the wrong power supply you can plug it all in and you'll find it won't boot up because the power supply rails are different. Put this one back in there. If you have a look on the board itself there's a niche there and that fits into this here. Slide it in like so. There you go. That's in. Remember when you took it out, the red was against on the right hand side. Just put it in like so. There, you see. Next, last, next thing to do is power cables for the uh, hard drive and the floppy drives. Just slide it in like so. Just ease it in gently. There you go. Did you hear the clip? Please note. The power supply have got a notch on, cut out on one side, as they say, so they can only go in one way. Interesting thing happens if you get in the wrong way, just push it in. There you are. One power supply changed over. Next thing to do is just uh, put the covers back on, put the screws in, and you're done. Simple. Uh, quite easy to do. Try it out on a dead PC before you try it out on a live one. Remember folks, always touch the uh, metal parts to dissipate any electrostatic electricity and then go for it. Remember not to touch any of the chips directly, always grab it from the side. Thanks for watching, bye.